Hello and welcome to the third video of my Amiguru Me Basics series. My name is Emma and I am the designer behind In My Craft Design. Last time we talked about how to crochet in the round to make Amiguru Me. And today I want to show you how we can also start crocheting in the rows for Amiguru Me. So I will show you three different techniques to start crocheting in a row. And I will also show you some increases and decreases for that. Okay, so um, as previously, I am using a DK weight cotton and I am using my um, G four millimeter hook as well. So I'll be using this to show you guys um, most of the tutorials. So the first thing we're going to start with today is we're going to start with a basic chain, okay? And this is how you work in rows. So the first thing to do is you want to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you want to pass your yarn like this and then make a loop. And this is the beginning of your chain. So the first chain I'm going to show you is just a basic chain and how to single crochet um, in the chain. So all patterns that will use chains will tell you to just chain one more than what you need. So for example, I'm going to chain six right now to make five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the reason why we want to chain one more is because when we're going to work back into those chains, we're actually going to skip that first chain here that's next to the hook. Um, and that will allow us to turn. And it's going to be the same after each row. Generally, you will chain one before turning. So what we want to do is we don't want that first chain here, but we want to use that second chain. And we'll put our hook in there. Okay, and then we'll just make a single crochet um, and then again in the next one and again um, and two more so until we have five stitches um, and I always have some issues getting that first chain okay so now you can see that now I have here five stitches so one two three four five so that's a five single crochet um stitch and then we go, when you're going to turn you want to chain one again Ooh, chain one again and then you will work back into those single crochet stitches so this is how you get started with working flat for your work and this is the most basic technique to work flat if you want to do um flat amigurumi pieces okay now i'll also show you right now how we increase so increasing is going to be very easy it's going to be the exact same as what we did when we increased in the round and I'll show you how we decrease as well. So to increase, you want to, when you're picking up your stitch, you want to do one single crochet and then your next single crochet is gonna be in that same stitch here to increase. And so see, now we have those two single crochets in that one stitch, okay, very easy. To decrease now, what you want to do is you want to, so remember we can't do even invisible decreases here because there um, won't be a right or wrong side to your piece because it's worked flat. So to do a decrease now, what you want to do is just a normal decrease like you would normally do to uh, work any other kind of crochet. So we want to insert our hook in the stitch and pull up a loop. Then we want to insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And then we're going to pull the yarn all the way through those three loops that were on our crochet. And now we've just decreased. And see, it's going to decrease on both sides. Okay, so that was the basic of working um, by rows. 
and that was the basic chain. Now, there is another very cool technique um, that uses the back bumps of the chains. And so some designers really like using this because it gives your edge a very neat um, look, a neater look, in fact, than using the normal chain. Um, so to do this, in, instead of um, doing six chains, now we're only going to do five because now that we're going to work into the back bump of the chain, we don't need that extra turning chain. So I have five chains on my hook. And what we're going to do is we want to look. So if you look at the back here, if we look at the back of our chain, do you see there's like those little bumps? So this is what the back bump is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go and insert our hook into that first back bump here. Okay. And so then we're just going to work our single crochet stitch as normal. And then we're going to pick up the next, see the next bump here and work a single crochet in it. And then the third. So again, normally when you do a chain, you would work just on the top here of the chain, but here we're just looking at the back and looking for that little bump here. It can be a bit tricky to grab depending on how splitty your yarn is. Um, and then there's two more. So I've done three. And we're looking for two more. And the last one. Okay, so now I still have my five single crochet stitches here. But if you look onto the other side of the chain, it still looks like single crochets there. So that can give you a very neat little loop, um, little look. Um, and I think it's pretty nice to have that. kind of reversible. Um, and then from there you can either, you know, chain one and then work in rows like I mentioned, or um, you can also continue working in the rounds on the other on the other side of that um, chain. And that can be a very neat way of doing it so that there's actually less holes in the middle of your chain. And the last technique I wanted to show you to start working in rows for amigurumi. And again, this is just like all you want to do with amigurumi is you really want to reduce your chance of getting holes in your fabric, right? So the tighter you can do your crochet stitches, the better it is. And this technique actually is quite good because as you can see, there's no, there's no holes there, which is um, a very good way to avoid your stuffing coming through. Um, and so the last one is called the foundation single crochet. So this one is a little bit different again. So um, as usual, you just start with pulling up a slip knot and you will start by chaining two. So you chain two. It doesn't matter how many stitches you're going to end up with. You always start with only chaining two. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do a single crochet into that first chain there. So now you have one single crochet there. Now, instead of turning and continuing, the next thing you want to do is actually you want to find the back of that single crochet stitch here. So here, this back there. So there's two. And there's those two little bumps there. You want to find that back and you want to insert your hook there and then you will pull up a loop and do another single crochet. And see how now you actually have two single crochets that seem to be supported by nothing. So this is why it's called the foundation single crochet because you don't actually need a chain to get your single crochet on. And then you can actually make as many as you want. So all you want to do is just find that back of your single crochet stitch, insert your hook in there, and then make a new single crochet. So you can make as many as you want. 
And this is very cool technique as well to just, um, if you want your starting, you know, you're starting a row to be a little bit thicker. So I now have four. And I could just do one more so that you can see what it looks like when you have five. Oh, I do the wrong one now. So yeah, you just need to be very careful to um, actually grab that back end there of your stitch. There you go. So now I have five foundation single crochets. And then if you want to turn, you know, you do exactly the same thing. You just will chain one and then turn again your work. And then you know, do your stitches as normal the other way. This yarn's getting a bit splitty. Maybe I should use a better quality yarn, but I think this, this does okay my purpose here okay so um yeah that was the foundation single crochet and that is it for today i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and i will see you next time for more tips on how to make amigurumi bye <music>